Hello students I welcome you to your digital classroom How are you all doing today I hope everyone is in sound health Students today we are going to discuss the poem The Ball Poem by John Berryman This poem talks about a boy losing his ball and the experiences he gains after losing the ball So let us get started Stanza 1 What is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is he to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water in the first stanza the poet talks about a boy who has lost his ball while playing with it he wants to know what the boy's reaction will be after losing his ball further the poet asks himself the question what will this boy do after losing the ball the poet says that he saw the ball going away from the boy the ball was cheerfully bouncing down the street here the poet has personified the ball because he says the ball was cheerfully bouncing cheerfully means happily so this is an example of personification the poet says that when the ball skipped from the boy's hand it went into the street and finally it fell into the nearby river further the poet is curious to know what this boy will do after losing the ball stanza 2 no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went i would not intrude him a dime another ball is worthless in the second stanza the poet says that there is no use of trying to console the boy by saying that there are other balls too why he says so because the boy is feeling very sad the boy is sad because all the memories of his childhood days went away with the ball the poet says that the boy is very upset as the ball has now which has now gone into the water reminds him of those sweet memories of the times when he had it of the times when he played with it this loss is unbearable for the boy and he is grief stricken the sorrow has overpowered him the boy says that he won't tell the boy to take some money from him to buy another ball because the new ball will not bring the same sense of belonging to the boy that means the boy can buy a new ball with some money but obviously he will not be able to buy back the same memories stanza 3 now he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions people will take balls balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back money is external this is such a powerful significant statement money is external with this incident that is losing his ball the boy gets his first sense of responsibility he is learning how it feels to lose something in a world of possessions possessions means all the things that we own that we possess here he will lose things in this world the boy is going to lose things he will buy new ones to replace the ones lost but would never be able to buy back the things once lost the boy's ball personifies his young days and happy innocence and all the belongings now all of these are lost with the ball in this world people take away balls just as they take away one's innocence and force one to grow up these are the harsh realities of life in this world where we all live thus the boy needs to understand about his responsibility as the loss is immaterial money is external as i said it's a powerful significant statement money is external as it can buy things but not the memories nor can it replace the things once lost that we love the things that 
really matter to us. So money can buy us the things, but obviously no money can buy us the feelings, the emotions that we have associated with the things. Now we reach stanza 4. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes this epistemology of loss. How to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. In this last stanza, the poet says that after losing the ball, the boy is learning how to survive in a world of positions. How to move on in this world where we are dictated by our positions. The boy is learning what it means to lose something that is very dear to us. The poet says that as every man has to stand up after such losses, the boy too will learn how to cope up and to move on leaving the losses behind because that is the rule of the law or that is the way of the life. The boy will understand the true meaning of losing something dear, something that really matters. Now let us talk about the central idea of the poem. The poem talks about a little boy who loses his ball in the river and so he gets very upset. Though the ball does not cost much, it is very shocking to him because he had certain feelings, certain emotions that were attached with that ball. So the boy keeps staring at the river where the ball has gone. The poet sees all this happen but he doesn't interfere because the poet thinks that losing the ball will teach the boy a lesson of accepting the loss and move on happily. That is an important lesson which the boy must learn. Everyone loses something or the other in this world but has to survive and fulfill their obligations. That is how we move on in our life. So losing the ball makes the boy learn that gains and losses are part and parcel of life. One needs to accept such losses as a usual matter. So I hope the poem and the central idea is well understood by you all. So until next time, take good care of yourselves and happy learning. Bye bye.